Um, okay. I love the analogy of the um, clogged pipes that you were talking about in um, Bernie. I think you had talked about this in uh, uh, San Antonio. And because um, I, I had clogged pipes. But I don't want to talk about them because that's just uh, dwelling in the... But I have clogged pipes. So... Uh, <laughs> it's a good analogy. Have you, it is a good Did you hear us talking about it? There's a pond and water feature at the Abraham Hicks Center. And it has fish in it. It's really beautiful. Some headwaters and some falls and a little stream. And it falls into a bigger pond at the bottom. And the water is drawn from the bottom into a pump house where it is filtered and then put back. So the water stays clear and nice for the fish and for the stream. But the water was getting cloudier and cloudier and it turned out it was because the pipes that were going back in were clogged. So the water was being drawn into the filter and when the filter was attempting to put it back into the pond, those pipes were clogged with there's a very hard soil in Texas. It's called caliche. It becomes almost like concrete. And so over time, those pipes were clogged. And the remedy was to lay some new pipes. At first, they laid them right on top of the ground just to make sure that the theory worked. But once the new pipes were laid, then the water was filtered and put back. And right away, the pond cleared up. And the point that we were making with the analogy is that it was so much easier to just lay new pipes than to try to chisel out that hardened, habitual thought, caliche, mm. that had been put there over so much time. There's just an easier way of going about getting to where you want to be than going back and trying to figure out everything that went wrong. Mm. Yeah. Esther spent quite a bit of time wanting to know, well, why are the pipes clogged? How does that happen? Well, what difference does it make? They're clogged. Well, what clogged them? Well, what difference does it make? They're clogged. Well, why can't we unclog them? Well, what difference does that make? You can't unclog them. Well, can't we poke something big and strong enough in there? Can't we jackhammer them out? Well, not with a lot of difficulty. The pipes had a lot of angles in them. There was just an easier way of going about it. But the pipes should not have clogged up. Well, that's sort of beside the point to the clear pond that you want, isn't it? Well, maybe, but why are the pipes clogged? <laughs> and how long have they been clogged? And why didn't someone notice that they were clogged? And why didn't someone keep them from being clogged? In other words, you can spend quite a bit of time on a subject that is really irrelevant to where you want to be. Because the point is, where you are is where you are. And where you want to be is where you want to be. And the path of least resistance from where you are to where you want to be is much easier if you lay new pipes than if you try to unclog all of the old pipes that explain how you got to where you are. Well, how long have I been here? It's not really my fault that I am here. My mother. It's my mother. <laughs> I blame my mother. I blame my mother for why I'm here and my first wife. And that. <laughs> And second one, I blame all of my wives. You get the point. So actually, in a s s sense, um, uh, um, uh, laying new pipes are really laying new grids. It's really establishing a new grid. Because all those other grids, all those other clogged pipes are, are, are all playing themselves out. All those, all those grids are playing themselves out. All those pipes, even, even though they're clogged, just ignore them. You don't have to clean them out. You don't have to get the Drano. You don't have to get the uh, brush and get in there and clean them out. So just, just ignore because them. Because, just because them. really well said, because my point of attraction is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. Now, given where I am, how can I get to where I want to be with the greatest ease? And it is so much easier than most are allowing it to be. I hate when you say that because I because I know that it's easier than that and that I well, I don't hate when you say that but it's just but, it's just it's but, annoying. But you it's just annoying. spoke back to us our brilliant analogy <laughs> and got it so completely. You said it as well as it's ever been said. So why wouldn't every subject be easily applicable to what you just said? Because you've got clogged pipes, but so what? Remember, you yeah. said it to us, so yeah. what? Yeah. So what? Yeah. 
So what does it so what difference does it make what I believe if my beliefs are in the way of what I want then don't I want to establish some different beliefs sure our friend has unworthy beliefs and they're in the way of what she wants yeah. isn't it prudent for her to establish some different beliefs absolutely and isn't it now this is the part that you got hung up on isn't it an easy thing to do shouldn't it be as easy as laying new pipes I, conceptually conceptually absolutely all right now we choose you because <laughs> you're, you're you're becoming very difficult no we're, we're just I'm kidding so, oh, you're, you've, you've hate... clogged our pipes we, uh, we cannot deal I'm with pretty you. powerful if I've clogged your pipes okay so so we laid new pipes okay <laughs> I'll do the next why am I up here I'm up here because I want to traffic in those high uh, flying frequencies I want to traffic in inspiration yeah, and love you often do passion but I don't feel like I do well I then feel do it like more I get stuck well in... stop it okay so stop saying it is really what we mean well, yeah, yeah stop focusing there but I'm here and I can we're having a conversation yeah, you're here and your I pipes need some are clogged. coaching yeah okay. yeah all right yeah yeah so, but, but but our coaching's getting really boring <laughs> that's it that's all we've got <laughs> eh? I I guess I just it's like because I've been practicing and I've, I've listened to all the CDs blah 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 you know the whole thing I'm a very uh, smart rat I'm a very kind of like I get it and all right well remember this let's say you have three subjects that are active in you often yeah. in fact these three subjects pretty much dominate what you're thinking about and two of them are problematic you really want them however and one of them you fly high every time you think about it everything about that is easy what we're saying to you is if you could dominate your thought patterns with the one the other two would come into alignment because the two are clogging pipes the one is clearing pipes yeah, just focus on that so it is that simple but why is it not that simple because I've got momentum going so I've got momentum going so it doesn't feel like I'm thinking my thoughts Abraham it feels like my thoughts are thinking me that's what momentum does mm -hmm. so you're inspired to those thoughts because the momentum is there so the only chance you have is when you wake up going to the one that's easier going to the one that feels good until it becomes so dominant that it's the one that has the momentum going on it so even if it's just like I love s s summer I love this time of year I love the warmth uh, I love how it feels to w wear you know sh shorts and, and yeah. um, tank tops and it just feels so good to have this Sun be bathing over me I just focus on that and if, if that's the but, only thing but the thing that's... is you're really hitting on something important that's just not meaty enough in other words that's just sort of happily boring after a little while and most of our physical friends this is a really good ah oh, ah oh, ah oh, ah oh, ah oh. so most people you've heard us say this before if you've been listening to us for a while we don't say it often but we really mean it when we say it most of our physical friends would rather have negative momentum going than no momentum at all and the drama because, because of the, the momentum yeah. feels like stuff happening yeah. the momentum yeah. brings inspiration yeah. the momentum yeah. gets you going gets you the going. momentum yeah. gives you plenty of other people because there's a lot of people that will jump on those discs you get on that high flying isn't the weather beautiful disc and John Rivers is going <laughs> <laughs> people don't want to talk about that stuff but you get on some political CNN, problem yeah. or something that's meatier because you want to feel productive but until you've given high-flying momentum a chance you don't know what productive is in other words when you really get flying in those high frequencies you have a leverage of the energy that creates worlds coursing through you and all kinds of really amazing things begin happening so how do I get that how do I get that passion by picking something that interests you and focusing upon it frequently enough that momentum gets going and by not sabotaging the momentum of it with contradictory thoughts